Hello everyone, Shiki here today, and, well, I've been watching videos recently of things like uh, MMOs and them, not them, the developers being like, I think we can squeeze NFTs into these. Or just gaming in general, where all these companies are really trying their hardest to jump onto this NFT bandwagon and be like, oh my God, it's going to make so much money because people are so gullible when it comes to NFTs. At least the NFT bros are. I feel like most normal average gamers don't give a shit about NFTs. And in fact, if this game does have NFTs, they're going to be like, nope, screw that. You know? And I feel like that's happened with, uh, God, uh, Ubisoft did NFTs with their most recent uh, Ghost Recon title. I forget what it was, like Wildlands or some shit like that. Or, no, it wasn't Wildlands. It was one after that. Where they sold these stupid, uh, just like cosmetics as NFTs. And then uh, like a few months later, they were like, oh, well, mm, not doing this anymore. And essentially the, the items are just dead now. And that, that's a couple of things that I want to talk about NFTs. And then I have an idea for how NFTs could be useful in one specific sense of the uh, gaming world. So I'm just going to throw up some uh, gameplay of Fallout 76. Not that it has NFTs in it, but it's the only like MMO that I really have that uh, I can get up real quick. Because uh, everything else is sort of non-existent for me. I don't have any other MMOs installed. And installing one would take way too damn long. And I don't feel like dealing with that. So, I'm just going to talk while playing through the game a little bit. So, first of all, those of you who don't know what an NFT is, it's a non-fungible token, which I don't understand what the hell that means about anything. But essentially, what it boils down to is these people are paying uh, however much money for this NFT. And this NFT is uh, a thing that is essentially not even a real item, but it, it's something that points to a real item. So in the case of like pictures, for example, um, they will buy not the picture itself, but they'll buy a link to a picture. And then that's kind of what they own. They own the link to the picture, not the picture itself. Uh, which is hilarious to me that anyone would be stupid enough to, to do that. But uh, that's what it is. Uh, that's what an NFT is. And so when it comes to gaming, it, it's a little different, I feel. Um, there's NFT games where you buy like an item for like a character, but it's still like a digital item. And there's also uh, a couple of like world-based games where you uh, like like buy... Plots of land uh, and, and the plots of land you can basically do or whatever you want on or at least that's the, that's the sales pitch you know um, actually is it just me or is my game like lagging on the recording it feels like it's lagging a bit you know what just uh, don't worry about that it doesn't matter uh, anyway so that's kind of what is happening so it's, it's like in games NFTs are a little more useful, but they're still, like, it's something you do not actually own. And if the game closes service, you're basically screwed. So think of, like, the, the, the Ghost Recon one, for example, with its servers and stuff. Once the game is no longer popular because the next Ghost Recon has come out, if they don't, like, move those NFTs to their next game... They are basically saying, well, your, uh, your NFTs are all gone now. Or if it's an MMO, and the MMO is like 10 years old, and it's like done, the service is done, they close the servers, well, then uh, your NFTs are basically worthless. Especially if it's like a, a retail, not a, yeah, a, a, a real not retail, it's reality, re realtor, realtor. I'm trying to say land. If it's one of the land-based ones where you buy land in a place, in a game, and then it ends the service, 
Um, yeah, that's kind of messed up because then you just you're screwed. You're out of that money, you know. So that that's like why NFTs don't make sense in gaming because gaming's not just like we're gonna have this one game and it's gonna be around forever. Um, like a picture is where a picture is going to be around forever. A game is a service, basically, especially if it's an online game like an MMO, for example. And it just makes no sense to be like, yeah, buy this thing for this particular game that may or may not be around in like five years. Because um, NFTs are all about investing, apparently. Uh, you're, you're investing, hoping that the NFT will, of course, gain popularity so you can sell it for a higher price than you bought it for. It's like stocks, essentially, right? Very stupid. And there's been so many scams about NFTs, which, uh, yeah, just basically don't get involved in the NFT market, y'all. Unless you, you really want to support a game and you don't care about the NFT itself uh, and you just kind of want, like, a cool, like, thing or something, then uh, you can get NFTs. But if, if it's just you wanting to, like earn stuff and you think oh this is going to be like an easy way for me to you know make money because the game's gonna you know, pop off and i'm gonna be rich don't go in with that mindset it's one thing if you are like okay i actually want to like invest into this game because i like the game kind of like it, people do with the uh like founders packs and with like uh purchasing actual in-game stuff normally which really with gaming that's that's all you're doing with an nft um it's just that you can Perhaps maybe sell it back, you know? Who's this guy? Where'd you just go? Yeah, so you, so you can maybe sell it back is what an NFT is, right? And that's assuming that it's like share price and all that, you know, pays high. And I don't know why I said share price. I was thinking stocks. But that's assuming that like the game is still doing well and people care enough to actually continue buying your things, right? Because if, if it's a dead game, no one's going to be like, oh, yeah, I'll spend like $50,000 on this uh this helmet or whatever it is you know um but yeah if you just like look up like nft nonsense there, you're gonna find tons of videos about it tons of stuff exposing scams where uh, a lot of what happens is people think that since it's like a new technology they can get away with rag pulling which if you don't know what rag pulling is it's where you promise something you get the money and then essentially you just take the money and run or like you, you do something very like poor quality and you're like, yep, this is all, this is done. Okay, bye. And you just run away. Uh, it's illegal to do with, you know, real money and real investors and stuff like that. Uh, but people, because NFTs are new, they think that they can get away with it and they, they cannot. They are being tried and legality is occurring to them. So uh, there, there's no reason to do that. But... Usually if something sounds too good to be true, uh, it's too good to be true. And there are, you know, dozens, dozens of, like, MMOs or just video games in general out there that are on, like, Kickstarter or stuff like that that is um, very, very overambitious. They're talking about, yeah, we're going to be the next big thing. This is going to be like a... An MMO like Earth, but it's going to be Earth, you know, a different scale. Or this is going to be like a sci-fi, you know, like think Star Citizen scale sci-fi, right? And think like with NFTs, though. No, no, that, that's what people are kind of promising. They're promising something on Star Citizen scale with some of these games, but better, better graphics, better, you know, zero load time kind of stuff is what they're promising. And Star Citizen, with its, like, what, what have they made so far? Like, 500 million, 500 billion? I forget the exact number that Star Citizen has made without promising NFTs. Um, and they're still, like, what, five, ten years into development or something? I don't even remember how long it's been since Star Citizen started development. But they're still not up to a full release. They're still, like, over in, like, early alpha and stuff like that. And you can, like, kind of play the game, but not everything's in there and... Like not, all even, not even all the ships people have bought are in the game, I don't think. I bought a ship for Star Citizen, full, full disclosure there. But yeah, and then there's like other things where uh, I was watching one video last night about this very clear scam about this NFT project 
that was basically Minecraft skins for this private Minecraft server. So you would essentially like buy an NFT of this skin. You'd get the skin so you could wear it around in this um, Minecraft server. And then after that, the NFT thing was just, it was nothing. It was like a normal Minecraft server. It just happened to have NFTs, right? But the thing with that is it is so easy to recreate Minecraft skins. Basically, you take a screenshot of the NFT you want, you recreate it in, you know, the Minecraft skin creator thing, and then you can just upload it and that's it. That's literally how stupid NFTs are because you're not actually getting like the rights to the picture. So you can't like sue people if like they copy paste your picture. Um, what you're getting is the right saying that you own this link that points to this picture. Um, which does not mean you own the picture. Hilarious. Um, but yeah. And so people are trying to like muscle in NFTs and all this stuff, which it boils down to pay to win stuff, really. Um, so a lot of people are jumping in on this because they're like, oh, these people are you know, going to spend millions on NFTs. And so we can get away with you know, doing this in our MMOs and stuff like that because you know, MMOs are already kind of pay to win, especially some uh, like Eastern MMOs. Uh, a lot of the Asian ones, like South Korean and the Chinese and stuff like that, they already have pay to win mechanics like ingrained into the MMOs, right? And so they can get away putting NFTs in it because it's basically the same thing. Although it is illegal in South Korea to have NFTs in your games. Uh, so, yeah, because it encourages gambling in children is their reasoning. Found that out yesterday, too. Good stuff. Good on South Korea for making NFTs illegal in gaming. Because it is essentially gambling. You're, you're buying something with the expectation that sometime down the future it's going to, you know, be worth more. And that's, that's essentially what gambling is. You're investing a little bit of money so that you can possibly make more money. You know, it's just like stocks. It's like playing blackjack, you, you put down $10 and you're like, okay, I, I'm assuming I'm going to win this hand. And then when the results don't pan out the way you think, you've lost your money. Uh, that, that's how stuff goes, right? Um, but anyway, on to the, the main thing that I wanted to talk about, because I was thinking about it. I was like, you know, all these people who are like, man, we should put NFTs in video games. They're thinking about it all wrong just completely wrong. They're thinking about, yeah, let's add like all these cosmetics. Let's make like a bunch of NFTs. Let's make so many that it like blots out the sun, right? Like just uh, little NFTs that are like the same thing, but like a pixel is different or like uh, this one has glasses, but this one doesn't. But other than that, they're the exact same, right? Um, my actual idea for an NFT would be an MMO However, there's limited NFTs, very limited. Um, and think of it like this. Think of an MMO just normally, and that's your base game, right? So you don't have many pay to win mechanics or anything like that. It's just like a base MMO, right? So think like Final Fantasy IV um, or hell, think Fallout 4 while we're here, okay? Let's think about Fallout uh, 76. We're, we're in Fallout 76. And they're going to add NFTs. Okay, this is all hypothetical. Let's just think about it, right? So in my plan for what an MMO should do when it comes to adding NFTs, and we're going to go back to my camp to kind of illustrate this. Um, so what we should do if we want to add NFTs into an MMO is don't make it be something stupid. Don't make it be, oh, this is a weapon skin, or this is an actual like legendary weapon that does like infinite damage. Um, stuff that you know ruins the gameplay experience and basically just has people buying stuff for the sake of buying it and then not using that stuff because in reality it doesn't really matter. Um, as long as the game does good, they can sell it, right? Don't make it be like that. Make it be like... Uh, land right so let's look at the fallout 76 map right lots of places around here okay but there's a lot of places that you know are open they don't have anything here 
So what if, let's say, uh, you sell this vacant area of land as an NFT? Now, there's nothing there, right? And sure, you can hold on to it, and you can be like, ooh, maybe in like a year, all the land's going to be bought up, and people are really going to be looking for land, and so I can sell it for a higher price, you know? But alternatively, what you could do is if I were making some sort of NFT, like MMO game, right? What I would do is I would essentially do what the camp system does. Allow the people who own the NFTs to have some sort of like building or development tools for their territory and let them build it up and say, make a thriving town or something. Um, a town that, you know, a bunch of players will you know, want to go to. A bunch of, you know, NPC shops and traders. Essentially make it like a, a hub of activity for the game. Make it a renowned place in the game. And that's what increases your NFT value. Not the fact that, you know, people want to get out on the market, but the fact that it is a vital part of the game. And you can apply this to other MMOs. Um, let's say you start out with this like forest, you know, in, in a specific MMO, right? And in this forest, you, as the owner of the NFT, as owner of the land, you have the ability to chop down trees, create, you know, uh, towns, create a castle, whatever you want on this land. You could make it like a, a, a parkour gymnasium kind of thing if you wanted to, you know? Um, do whatever you want with the land. And what you do with the land, depending on how you use it, either people are going to like it and they're going to come to the land and thus make it more uh, profitable in the future for NFTs to be sold and bought and whatever. Because obviously, if you're someone who you know is looking to invest in a NFT property, right? Would you want to buy just a, a barren forest with like nothing else but trees in it? Or would you want to buy a like thriving town that the people of the game, the, uh, the actual players of the game, frequently go to and like have a great time in the game, you know? Um, I know which one I would invest in. That would drive up the money of your little NFT area. And then what you can do is uh, you can sell it to whoever wants to buy uh, your, your village, for example. And then that person has full rights over the village and they can do whatever they want with it. They can tear it down and turn it back into a forest. They can uh, continue to refine the village and make it a, a bustling town. Um, they could completely transform it into, say, a dungeon. You know, like remove the, the town element and uh, transform it into a high-level, crazy dungeon experience kind of thing, right? So in that way, it's not only a way for people who invest in NFTs to like help the game improve, but it also increases the experience of the people who are playing without caring about the NFT element, right? Because if these NFT investors are looking to invest in something and the players um, are what kind of affects the price of their NFT, right? Um, then it makes sense that they would want to create one of the best locations possible. Um, and they would be like competing with each other to get players to, you know, frequent their area. Um, so that is kind of what I think would be one of the best, really one of the only ways that you could like involve NFTs in games without it just being a, a blatant crash, cash grab, right? Because if you were making an MMO, you can build the basics, you can build your own talents and stuff like that. But then you can use NFTs as sort of a, so you want to invest in the game. You want to see the game thrive. Well, congratulations, here you go. You can take this um, lot of land, do whatever you want with it. You can make it a thriving location. You can make it a dungeon. You can make it whatever you want, right? And that's just kind of what people could do, you know?
And I think that would be just really like the only way for NFTs to succeed in the gaming world is to not just have them be, oh, this is, you know, going to be one of those things where we're all just buying skins, you know, it'd actually be, hey, we are you know, helping the game world to become better. And I think that's really one of the only ways that you could have NFTs involved in gaming that would make it not just bad, you know? And I'm sure there are people who'd be disagreeing with me or whatever, um, and just saying that all NFTs are bad regardless. And, you know, I can understand that. I gotcha. But video game developers aren't gonna just not involve themselves with MMOs, right? Uh, or not NFTs, because they're, they're greedy little bastards. And especially like ones like Ubisoft and such, where they are known for just being blatantly cash grabby. They don't really care about the players, how stuff goes. They really only care about the whole, that was fucking close. Don't have too my legs. They, they don't care about the game. They care about making money from it. And if it doesn't make money, they're not going to make another game. Right. Um, Kind of like, uh, God, what? There's a company recently who they had, uh, like, they sold Tomb Raider and Deus Ex and, like, a couple of other games. I forget, is it Sony or who was it? Um, but anyway, they essentially sold these, like, properties that actually made, like, millions on their games, but they were like, we didn't make enough. And so they sold these, like, titles for, like, really low like very, very low amounts uh, than what they should have or could have sold them for, you know? Uh, and now they just lost those IPs because they were like, yeah, this doesn't make us enough money. It makes us money, but it's just not enough, you know? Um, and that's really messed up. But yeah, so, so I feel like unfortunately, um, as long as there's the NFT bros who are like, NFTs are sweet, man, they're sick, they're amazing. And they don't really care about gaming, but they'll still buy NFTs relating to gaming because they're, they're NFTs and they, for some reason, have a hard-on for NFTs. As long as those people still exist, um, I feel like there's no real way to get NFTs out of gaming. Um, unless you actually really, really hurt the developers, or more specifically, when you really hurt the, the publishers and the, uh, the people who are the actual ones pushing for the NFTs, the NFTs are going to be around. It's just going to be a fact of life when uh, it, it happens. You know? Like, unless the consumers are able to do enough financial damage to the companies that are trying to push NFTs, they're going to continue to do NFTs. There's just no way around it. Uh, because if they can get very easy, very simple money by selling NFTs, they're going to do it. It's unfortunate, but that's what's going to happen. It doesn't matter if, like, they make a game and the game dies. If they make, like, half a billion off of just NFTs alone, then they're going to keep making it, you know? It doesn't matter. As long as people keep buying the NFTs, they're going to keep having NFT games be around. It's really unfortunate. And I think we're gonna gonna start wrapping things up here. So I'm gonna exit out of the game, and I'm gonna switch back to my lovely little chalkboard here. So yeah, that's basically my idea for you know how you can incorporate NFTs in a good way into games, where instead of just having an NFT be a single item that never really changes, that never really increases or decreases in value itself, but just because there's an implied value around it um, that, you know, people think that they want to buy it for or whatever, actually make something like a plot of land where if they invest in this plot of land and they make it better, they can sell it for more. If they make it something people in the game want to see, they can sell it for more. I mean, that's just basically how, like, normal housing stuff would work anyway. Like, if you invest, you know, money in a home to make it look nicer, obviously it's going to sell for more. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, that'd be the only way I could think of that NFTs would be like a, a good thing in gaming. Um, cause yeah, if otherwise, like I said in the beginning, if a game dies, what happens to the NFTs? The company sure as hell is going to reverse you for what the NFT was worth when you bought it. They're probably going to give you like way less, if anything. They'll probably even be like, uh, yeah, sorry, it's, it's, it's done. Some good developers might be like, we're making a new game and we'll, uh, we'll give you an NFT in that one. Or we'll transfer your NFT to it. Like in the case of the, the Ghost Recon one, it's, it's probably viable to transfer that NFT to a similar title, right? Um, or they might just be like, yeah, so here's a, a digital picture of your NFT and you can go ahead and sell it now. Congratulations. It, it's now just an actual worthless picture NFT that you know doesn't actually mean anything. Um, that would be like probably the worst case scenario. No, the worst case scenario would be they just don't do shit. They're just like, screw you, fuck you. Uh, yeah, we're, we're done with the game. Your NFT is worthless now. Congratulations. That's why NFTs don't make sense in gaming. But they do kind of, if you do the relative. Reality thing. God, why can't I not like pronounce that word? It's, it's Relator. Reality. Is it reality? Man, I don't fucking know. Uh, if you do the land thing, because it, it helps the game continue. Because if you have areas in your game that constantly change, then people are going to be like, oh, I, uh, I kind of want to you know, see what's going to happen next to this area, right? Because if one day you're playing, and then the next day it looks like a castle's being constructed, you'll be like, oh, god dang. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll come back here tomorrow, and I'll, I'll see like how much progress they made on the castle. Maybe see if there's any new quests or something that show up here. You know, crazy stuff like that. That, that would be, be interesting, right? That's what MMOs need to thrive. They need constantly changing elements that gets people's attention, that gets them to keep coming back. And I think that's what NFTs could do for the MMO market. They could make it so it's not just the developers who are able to change and manipulate stuff, but it's people who have a vested interest in the game to make it a better game by increasing their own worth of the plot of land so that they could sell it to someone else who then can decide to change what they want and to try and further increase their own value, right? That's like the only way I can see NFTs being good. Every other way, whether it's just a pure cosmetic thing, like why bother with the NFT? You can just you know, buy it normally. Um, or just have like a marketplace like CSGO has the, uh, the skin marketplace or whatever. Um, which uh, that's basically all that NFTs are, is like the CSGO skin marketplace. Think about it. Think about it. You own this like skin, you can sell it. You can you know, buy more, you can sell more. Uh, except with NFTs, you don't actually own the item. You own a link to the item. So NFTs are even worse, right? It's just weird. But that's my take. I'm going to wrap things up here, everyone. So thank you all for, for listening. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think that my idea for how MMOs could include NFTs, do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Do you think that NFTs should just fuck off? Because I, 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 I think NFTs should just fuck off. But fortunately, as long as game companies continue to make money from them, we're not going to see them go away, you know? which is stupid. But yeah, that's, uh, that's all I got for today, everyone. Thank you all for listening. And uh, until next time, I'll catch you later. Bye for now.